Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. Today I've got a very quick video for you. I'm testing out Auto Glim. Um, I haven't been asked to, I just bought it myself and I wanted to test it out because I've been finding, and I don't know about you, that with my pyramid moulds, if I've done a, la a layered pyramid, it marks the mould. It's going to be hard to show you everything today because of the light. I'm moving it around so hopefully you can see. You get lines on the mould where your um, layers on your previous pyramid were and that can actually cause lines on the next pyramid which I'm not happy about. And today I'm going to be trying out using this polish and in a different I've, I've always been using it wrong and I'm going I've found out the correct way of using it I'm going to try it and see if it helps so stay tuned it's a very quick one and we'll see what happens <laughs> So I'm going to try and show you what I mean about the marks and it might not work. You might not be able to see the light shining on it. Mm. There's a mark. Uh, let me try turning my light off. I'm sorry about my dog barking. Mm. I don't know if you can see it. I might need to do a separate close-up shot just to show you. But anyway, there's marks here. I'm going to turn the light back on because I can't see now. <laughs> here from the previous one, there's one here. Same on all sides, obviously. And I've got the same on this one where there's a mark going all along here and all along here. So I will do some separate close-up photos to capture it. Right, what I've been doing in the past with this polish, and it actually, it does shine things, is just putting it on, rubbing it in, and rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Uh, you will probably realize that that's wrong if you've got a car and you've waxed a car before, this is designed for cars and it's basically the same process. You're supposed to let it dry first and that's what I haven't been doing. So what I'm going to do in a moment, you won't hear me speaking so I'm going to put my mask on because you need a well ventilated room to use this and it's best if you wear a mask as well. I'm going to put my mask on and put the polish on and then let it dry. And then I've got a polishing attachment for my drill. I'm going to polish it up and see if there's a difference. So let's see, watch this space. Okay, so with my glove on, I rubbed it on quite firmly in a circular motion, just following the instructions on the bottle. And I left it to dry for about half an hour. It was still a little bit wet and um, it, didn't, it doesn't really say how long to leave it on the bottle. Um, but it was kind of semi-dry. And then I polished it with my drill attachment on. Now, the, what you're about to see is only for demonstration purposes because um, the angle I was filming at was just, I couldn't do it properly. So I just, I'm just showing you here what I'm using and how I'm going to do it. And then I took it away and did it more safely. <laughs> and I did actually continue polishing it for quite a long time because I really want, I quite, I actually quite enjoyed doing it and I really wanted to get as shiny as I possibly could. So let's see what happened. So as you can see, we got a really high shine and it really is beautifully glossy and smooth. However, it didn't take away the line that I wanted it to take away. And I don't think any amount of polishing would do that 
polishing alone isn't going to do it. I've discovered that through doing this. If you wanted to get rid of it, you would need to go through the whole sanding process, uh, which is a long process and I'm not going to do it. I'm happy with it as it is. The lines are still there, but it's... I think it's absolutely beautiful anyway and I'm happy to sell it like that because my customers know because I state on my website that when you work with resin there will be imperfections and I don't think it takes away from the final look of this piece so I'm happy with that. I, I would have been happier if I'd got rid of it but it's one of those things but look how shiny it is. I'm really happy. You can see the lines better on this one. It really shows up if you look closely. Uh, I'm not actually selling this one because it's not perfect enough. Uh, I don't mind a few imperfections, but it's a little bit wibbly wobbly <laughs> in places. So this one isn't going to be sold. But look how shiny it is again. Yeah, I'm very happy with the polish and the buffing. But in conclusion to the initial experiment it didn't take the line away but it polishes great here's a final look at my yacht one before it goes in its box and i'll be doing a tutorial to show you how to do the wave effect that i've got on this one so there's a tutorial coming up very soon for this and i wanted to show you the box as well that i've made to put it in and I have a template for this on my Patreon for my people on the full membership. You can uh, download the template and make your own pyramid boxes. And I think that it just finishes it off nicely and protects it perfectly while it's being posted. So there we have it. My boxing and the finished pyramid. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you again soon.